Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. Hey folks, this is Jack. Welcome back to the zoo. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. Well, a funny thing happened on the way to the rhinoceros habitat, and that is that the build footage that I had turned out to be completely unusable and corrupted and was lagging and looked like shit. So I have a new habitat and I can show you the habitat, but I can't show you how I built it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys, because I've been talking up this habitat for a while. But as you can see, we, we do have our rhinoceri. I also added the African spurred tortoise. That is a modded species. It's based on one of the giant tortoises. I've seen these. Uh, we, we have a couple of these tortoises in our local zoo, and they are really big, and they're good. You know, they're, they're fun animals. Um... And of course, we have our southern white rhinoceri. It looks like the rhinoceri is getting frisky. Um, you know, they they have a lot of space, and we've got turtle. You know, we've got tortoises, and we've got rhinos, and some rocks and trees and toys, and a little pond for them. Everything's pretty cool. It's a, it's a good looking uh, habitat. It works, and of course. You know, the, the guests come in this way and they wander all the way around this this part of it. We have some staff facilities over here behind the trees. And then the path goes up to this circular viewing area. I was thinking about putting a, a cover on it, some some kind of shading. You know, I mean, why not, right? Anyway, um... Uh... It turned out really well, and I'm sorry that I didn't get to show you what it was that I did to, to make it look so so fantastic, because it really does look fantastic. Um, the other neat thing is I uh, I completed a, a cinematic tour video. I posted it to my Facebook. I'm probably not going to put it on YouTube. I'll wait until I'm, I'm done with the uh, uh, entire zoo, you know, it's closer to being finished completely before doing that. Anyway, um, I thought about just showing you guys the, uh, the rhino habitat and then ending it there, but we may actually put in a new animal in this episode. So, uh, yeah, you know, the, the rhinos are doing well. They're, you know, the, the turtles are doing well. Everything, everything is good here, and the people seem to like this particular habitat. So I was uh, planning on adding a habitat right here. In this, in reaction to the cinematic video I, I created and posted to Facebook, I had a couple of people say, well, you need to fill in those empty spaces. And I'm like, which ones? This one here and that one there? And they were like, yeah, you know, and I was like, well, I was planning on putting habitats there. Oh, oh, we thought you were finished with this zoo. No, I'm not finished with this zoo yet. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was thinking about it, and I think I'm going to put a Dama, the, the Dama Gazelle habitat right here. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start that up, start that up, turn it over to the time lapse. And we'll get this done, okay? I will talk to you in a little bit.
right, so here are the Dama Gazelles. This is the first time I've ever included them in any zoo. They look interesting. And they are critically endangered, so they fit right in. And I, I made pretty good use of the space. This is some of the space you guys said I should be filling in with plants. Now, originally I was using the... Uh, chain link fence with uh, wooden posts but it turns out these are shy animals and they don't like being stared at by humans so uh, I switched out for the for the uh, one-way glass settings that's much better obviously they're a lot happier and a lot less stressful thinking about putting up quiet please signs but given that I've got music blaring at them I don't know So, as for what's going to be next, um, I was honestly thinking about maybe doing the giant anteater and capuchin monkey combination. But I haven't really decided. We will see how it works out. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Whoops, what's the thing? You just used the facility. Jesus God, I put, there's a whole nother, it's, there's another one over here, douche, come on. Dingleberries. Hey, screw heads, you know what, I've got another one over here. It's part of the same work. Okay, well, it is now. Now let's see if one of you doofuses can figure it out. I gotta tell you, the A is not very I in this, uh, this game. Uh, excuse me again, guys. I'm yawning because it's, it's past midnight and, uh, you know, past midnight. After midnight, we're all, we're gonna let it all hang out. Okay. There we go. Fill in those spaces, boys and girls. Fill in those spaces. And you will be told about it. I got an idea. Anyway, guys, thank you, thank you very much for watching once again. I will talk to you later. Bye bye. Okay, folks, that'll do it for this session of Planet Zoo. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to say something to me, anything at all, please make a comment down below. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.
as old and as true as the sky The forest protected shall prosper The forest neglected shall die You've an aptitude to change attitudes As we have to prove it That's right it's too Grab your shovel There's work to do The world's in trouble You gotta build a zoo 